the Biden administration is actually putting 144,000 acres of land up for lease in nine states as soon as Monday. So he is doing this as he is facing some massive pressure uh, in and around gasoline prices. And with 200 days or so before a midterm election, uh, he's definitely feeling the pressure. He's also experiencing some very, very low approval ratings. So, you know, this is um, really kind of ironic, you know, as we look at, you know, remember the old read my lips, no new taxes from the Bush era? Well, this is a campaign promise that Biden is breaking, and it doesn't really hurt my feelings any, but he is deviating from what he promised on the campaign trail that he would have no no new drilling on federal land, I guess, unless Putin makes him do it. <laughs> so that's kind of the the reasoning here that Putin made me do it. So he is now offering up 144,000 acres um, for leases to try to get uh, companies to start drilling to alleviate some of this pressure at the pump. You know, his temporary plans of releasing um, a million barrels a day from the strategic petroleum reserves is only going to help temporarily. We have seen gasoline prices um, come off their highs a little bit, but it's not going to be permanent unless some some other things happen and you know he wants this focus on made in america well we need to we need to use some of the resources that's below the ground here and you know this also comes after his march 31st comments about how he was going to start making companies pay fines on leases if they are not drilling on them well biden they're not drilling on them because of the campaign promises that you're now breaking but you know um they were afraid to invest you know, capital and uh, money and all of and getting the gr- the oil out of the ground if they were going to be punished for doing so. But, you know, interesting to note that rig count has increased. And I was taking a look at that earlier. And the, the rig count is up. Let's see where to go. It's increased from 650 to 693 just since the end of February when the Ukraine invasion Um, happened. So um, that's good to see, you know, that'll, that'll start to help long term as we start to get this oil out of the ground. You know, we're the country that does it the cleanest, you know, if anybody's going to do it, and somebody's going to have to do it, because, you know, I just don't think when the rubber meets the road, literally, the priorities of this country and the world, our pocketbooks mean more than saving the earth. I mean, we've we've got to have fossil fuels. The reality of it is, should we be going to renewables? Yes, I think it's good to steward the earth. I'm not saying that that we shouldn't care about what's happening in the earth, but the thinking here, the the think the fundamental thinking is just wrong. 